As part of the United Nations Big Data Forum, up to 20 secondary schools from across Trinidad and Tobago assembled at Hyatt Regency to compete against each other in an intercall styled competition. In the contest dubbed Collegiate BattleBots, students interacted with an artificial intelligence system using the English language rather than codes. The intent was for the AI technology to interpret the language, generate the code, and then control the bot that would be used for students to battle each other. UN Development Coordination Officer Anand Maraj said the aim of the competition is to get students more familiar with AI technology. When we designed this competition and we, we did testing and so on with them, the questions that they asked suggested to us that they were already at a stage where they were on par with some of the things that we know because we had to make some tweaks to the, to the competition based on some of the feedback we had from them. So I think it is about giving them that opportunity to learn and to grow in an environment of camaraderie and to have that knowledge transfer. And I think if I could say going forward, I hope it also impacts on their career choices. Chief Information Officer at Teleo Systems Limited, Dale Wilson, said he wanted the students to carry their excitement and passion outside the competitive arena. Whatever career they, they, they choose or whatever career pathway they're on, um, AI is going to be a part of their lives. So we want them to start interacting with the technology, getting used to it, um, because it's going to be something that they're going to be using every day for the rest of their lives. During a break in the competition, students from Bishop's High School, Tobago, said while the competition was nail-biting and intense, there was something bigger at play. One student wanted his peers to take note. Uh, going forward, I would just encourage students to come into this, uh, especially AI, as we're going into a future technological world, more advanced. I would advise students to use these opportunities to practice and become literate in this field that is fastly approaching us. Eventual third place finishers from St. Stephen's College in Princess Town had this advice for students who may get future opportunities to learn about AI technology. I think a lot of students don't take it, they might be nervous or think they don't deserve it or think you know, they won't go far or something, but uh, even if you're lost today, it's a great experience, a great learning experience, so take the opportunity. At the end of the competition, Presentation College Chagonas came out victorious against the second place contenders, Marabella North Secondary.